Well, hey everybody. Okay, so today is going to be a special little day. Uh, I have decided that, well, <clears throat> it's time to fix something that I broke. So here is my Huawei uh, Nexus 6P smartphone. It is, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it right there. I will get it into the camera view. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cracked right through here. As you can see, the digitizer still works quite well. I have a four inch piece of just packing tape on here that's holding it together and keeping me from scratching the heck out of my, my fingers. Um, but now it's time to replace the screen, to replace the just the Gorilla Glass on the outside. Uh, there is another uh, small glass piece here. This is where underneath here is uh, there are some screws. And under here, this little piece of plastic, there are some screws. So I have to, uh, I'm going to have to warm it up in order to get those off. And uh, this is a sheet of adhesive. It's a rather large sheet of adhesive. In fact, it's about the same size. Yep, look at that. It's the same size as the screen. So I will have to warm the entire surface of the phone up in order to peel that off. Uh, I've got the rest of my kit here. I've got the iFixit uh, toolkit here. Uh, should be ready to go. I've been through a couple of the um, tutorials on teardowns to rip these things apart. And hopefully, uh, my daily driver will be uh, all beautiful and everything by the end. I don't know how long this is going to take, uh, but I will just go ahead and stream it because, uh, you know, why not? And uh, the very first thing to do is to turn the phone off. Now, I've also let the battery discharge to oh, probably 30%. Um, now, I would since it's just the glass on the outside and it's just adhesive, I really could just heat up the whole thing, just the whole surface uh, with my, my trusty heat gun here and try and peel it off and, and do that. The only thing is with, with the latest rash of uh, Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 um, recalls due to battery overheating and exploding, I'm going to try and uh, treat my my battery nicely. So I have to open it up and remove the battery first, which means I also have to take off this back case. This is a mono body case as well. So it's not going to be the easiest thing. There are no seams here. No seams. So this is all just one big sheet of aluminum. This is the fingerprint reader, which works very well, by the way. I'm very pleased with this phone other than accidentally uh, letting it fall in a case face down onto the pavement. That's how this cracked here. That really made my day pretty bad. Um, but now there's a, there's a nice spider web. The crack goes all the way up there. It has been usable this way. I've, I've kept it like this for almost two weeks now, uh, just because I didn't have time to do this. Uh, actually, no, it's been longer because uh, I also had to wait for my my supplies to come in. The glass itself was only like fifteen dollars. Um, this piece back here is also glass, and it was recommended that I get an extra of that as well, just in case that it breaks when you take it off. So hopefully that won't happen. There are two pieces of adhesive that are holding the battery down couple pieces of adhesive here and of course this is held in by adhesive too. No, no screws on the outside anywhere that you can see. This is the USB-C connector which is uh, really cool. I like USB-C. Uh, either up, down, doesn't matter. Uh, and well I guess I just have to get to it don't I? Now I also have another tr uh, trick up my sleeve and that's this guy right here. Uh, this was uh, is one of those rice filled bags that goes on your shoulders. So I've put it in the microwave and it, it's quite hot now. I put it in for, uh, I just hit two, three times, two minutes and 22 seconds. So this is nice and warm. And what this will do is it will, while I'm getting things, uh, things set up, you just kind of let that sit there and it will, um, warm up the adhesive. So let's see, where am I, 
what am I going to do now? Uh, oh yeah, well, basically, I need to get the heat gun. Because I've got to loosen these guys. So, actually, I'll just rest it right on here. This is a big silicon pad, so that the heat doesn't transfer my to my desk. Should be fine. There we go. So you guys can see the Nexus logos. Now, this heat gun... Um, heats up it's a uh, 1500 watt heat gun air temperature 700 degrees to a little less than a thousand degrees um i i have no intention of making it quite that hot i do have a reducer on it to concentrate the heat um but i'm thinking just setting one is going to be uh just fine just hunky dory for me okay so there we go hopefully it's not too loud no, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so. <clears throat> Actually, I do have a way to hang it up, but I don't like that. Okay, so I'm just going to give it some some work here. I'll do this little piece of plastic down here first. And phones are pretty good. All these all these materials, they're designed to, to hold up to pretty decent temperatures except this temperature um, this will melt pretty much anything which is another reason why I'm going to set it here on the silicon okay let's see if I can get in there to pry it up at all this is a uh, oh that's that definitely warmed it up Okay, come on. Maybe not this one. I've got several several tools here, varying sizes. I may actually have to use a knife um, just to get under. Hmm. Like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take, so hopefully you guys can... Can either you have nothing better to do here on this lovely Monday evening that we have? Um, oh, there. Okay, so it bends down a little bit in there. So this is uh, the first time I've been even tempted to tear apart uh, a phone. I really haven't needed to. I do have a couple Nexus fours that I was um, very saddened when I broke their screens. Um, the, the worst part of that, about that, about breaking their screens was that they, <laughs> their digitizer was built directly into the screen. So once it went, it was done. You couldn't do anything with it. Uh, which is now also why I usually have, um, some remote apps so that I can actually get into the phone from elsewhere. Okay. I'm smelling that. So let's try now. Ooh, definitely warm. I need something to hold the phone. Hold the phone! Come on, get under there. Hmm. In some of the videos, they actually used an X-Acto knife. I don't really want to use an X-Acto knife, though, because that really... Um, hmm. Maybe this sesame tool here, though it's... It's not exactly thin enough. This is why it costs money to have these screens replaced, you see. Uh, you know, even though the part itself was only $10, it's the skill and tenacity to open these little buggers up. Yeah, see, if I put too much pressure on these little tools, they just break. Because they're, they're just plastic. Hmm. Come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Nope, that's plastic that's just coming off there. <laughs> okay. These are very thin. They, these would technically be called just guitar picks, but they're, they're not. These are even thinner plastic than... Than what that would be. Um, whew, phone's very, very warm, uh, but it's supposed to be. 
Hmm. Oh, maybe on this side. I think this side's pretty good. I can get... Yeah, I can move that a little bit. All about finding the right edge to get under. Oh, okay. And this is just a piece of plastic. I don't know if you can see it deflecting at all. Here, let's get down, down much closer. Okay, so there's the edge right along there and here. So let's see if I can get under there. These are very sharp. Uh, there it is. Just gonna... Aha! There. Okay, so I finally got an edge under. So that's what these are for. You get that under there. Okay, now I'll apply more heat. Just on the low 700 setting. Oh, see see how it deflects the, uh, <laughs> the pick? Now this is just to loosen up the adhesive. Wow, that's really super hot. Oh, coming from the Florida boy here. Okay, let's see. Definitely keeping it warm. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Who saw that coming? I did. Oh. I got right under there, and then I lost it. Oh, so close. Come on, come on. Oh. Okay, there we go. Now, let's grab more of these guys. I'm just going to slide it around. There you go. That's, un that's under there pretty good. Here are more. This is why you get a whole bunch of these. Now, you may think that uh, if, if you're ever into woodworking or anything like that, then you know that you never have enough clamps and things of that nature. There we go. Got it. Look at that. What is that? Ah, perhaps. I'm not sure what that, what this bit is. That was not defined. But you can see here where I've really mangled the, uh, the tape. And over here, not so much. But heating this up again, oh, it's still very tacky. But heating it up again and then applying a lot of pressure will allow it to, to sink back down on here. I may need to... Uh, no, I don't think I need to apply anything else to that. Okay, so I'll put that to the side. And this is... These are Phillips head screws. You know what? I should probably take the other side off first. Yeah. Let's leave the screws so I take them all off at once. Oh, nice and nice and warm and toasty. This is the kind of foam that, you know, it's like been sitting um, sitting on your dashboard in your car for a while. Same, same kind of uh, temperature there. Okay, let's get this guy. Now, this is glass, so glass on aluminum. So it'll allow a better thermal load. Ooh. Okay. I think I was getting a little too close. This is apparently not just cotton. <laughs> it's a blend, and I'm melting it. Woohoo! Look at me. Okay. That's fun. Hey, kids, don't try this at home. Except I'm at home. Okay. Now, this being the glass, how am I going to get under there? How am I going to get under there? I think I will need a knife, actually. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now then, let's see what my temperature is here as well. 138 degrees, 146 degrees at the corner. And 120 down the chassis. That's 115 down there. So that's about, about right to loosen up the, the tape. 
know. Maybe that doesn't feel doesn't feel that hot. Okay, got an exacto knife here. Let's see. I really don't want to mar the finish, but I have to be exceedingly careful. Because there's like no tolerance on this. Very much not designed to move. And the recommendation, as I said, was to get another one of these, uh, the glass piece, because they tend to break. See, it was easier with the plastic because that deflected some. This one's not going to do that for me. Hmm. So how do you get that out? How do you get that out? Maybe if I look at the other piece, I can figure out a better way. I don't see any, any way in particular. Hmm. But if I break it, then I can replace it. Hmm. And it's too small for one of the suction cups. Yeah, I can't get anything off that one. Okay. Well, let's see here. Okay, trusty little guys. Let's see if we can work, worm our way into its heart. Oh, I don't want to turn it on. Did I turn it on? No, good. It's like, too hot, too hot. Stay off. Oh, you know what? I should probably also, um, while I'm thinking about it, Something that you're supposed to do immediately. Take the SIM card out. So there's a special SIM tool. Move over that way. Okay, special SIM tool. Basically a paper clip with a handle. Into the hole. Like so. And pop down. A little harder. There we go. Okay. There we go. This is a Project Fi phone. And there, I'll just put that all into one container. Okay. So there you can see right into the heart of the phone. And you can definitely see my... Oh, that's a gory... A gory look at it right there. Eee. That's not so fun. I wonder if you can see my face any better if I move this. Because I've got this, I got the boom in, in my face. Oh well. Okay. Well, you know, maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I can leave that. I just need the glass. The glass is pretty thick. Pretty darn thick. So, let's see here. And I've had this keeping the glass side warm. I wonder if it is warm enough to release because I don't want to take the digitizer out. I don't I shouldn't have to do that. Let's warm it up. Let's get serious about this. Okay, I'm kind of melting the tape, actually, as it looks here. See that corner there? Just whoop. Okay. Those are my fingers. Let's keep the fingers. Let's see how hot that is. 100 and 175. 165. Okay. So that's super warm wonder if we can get in there now. So, let's see. Uh, okay, maybe. It's a definite maybe. I'm going to use these thin ones to kind of 
try and get in there. But then I gotta pop it. Whew, very warm. Now in theory, also, I can try one of these. And then maybe I can pry it up. Hmm. I don't know if that's doing anything. See, I also have to concern myself a little bit with how much of the glass I'm going to leave on. I also don't want to injure the LCD itself. So, note to self, get insurance on the phones. Just do it. Because this, though yeah, I can probably manage this somehow here at some point. I can manage to get in here and I can do this. But, jeez, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't know that it is. I just don't know. So I'm giving giving it a good pull here to try and get get in there. Actually, I want to be up here a little more. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So what I've done is I think I've gouged it. Don't know that I'm getting anywhere with that. That's too thick. Maybe. Okay, that didn't sound good, did it? No. Okay, that's not... It's not doing it. Perhaps I need to make it hotter. Because that was one really big piece of glass. But now, if I'm going to have to make it that hot, then I'm really going to worry about that battery, aren't I? So then I'm, I'm stuck there. I need to take it off again. Okay. Let's do that then. Let's, let's go back to that. Because I don't want to burn out the battery. So we'll back to here. want to say that's enough, but I don't know. Okay, I'm over 200 degrees. Which is definitely not a temperature I want to touch anymore. Oops. Did I just lose my blade in there? Oh, crud. I think I did. <laughs> All right. I did. I left some of it in there. That's the problem with Exactos. They are so exact. They've got that little tiny, tiny razor blade on it, and then you can't do anything with it. God, there's no tolerance. None. No tolerance at all to get in there. Very nice fit and finish, as we'd say, I guess. And, yeah, that's just not... Because what they have is they've got a raised surface area there for the, um, for the optical image stabilization system on the camera. So all the high-end phones have that little bump now, because they still want it super thin, but they want it... They have to have that thickness there for the machinery that runs everything. So, hmm. Okay, let's see if I can use a different tool, maybe. That one's a little bit thicker than the uh, than these guys. So, a little better to get in there with. No, that's not moving at all. 
So how am I going to get that off? How am I going to get that off? Oh, rolling that down. Hmm. Hmm. See, now I'm back down to thinking maybe I just have to take, the, take this glass off myself that way. Because I don't know that I can get that off without breaking it immediately. I mean, I, I could, I guess, just break it. I do have a replacement. Should I do that? Oh, turn the phone on. I don't want to turn the phone on, but now I have to let it go. Hmm. Well, what what should I do? And who is who's watching? Do I have I have viewers someplace? Not sure exactly where, because I'm just uh, I'm using XSplit Broadcaster to to do this, so I'm not sure where anybody's coming in from. We'll see about all that though. I don't know. Okay, ah, this takes forever to boot up too. It's running the latest Nougat uh, Nougat release, so we got that going for us, sort of, I guess. Um, and let's see, because I wonder if anybody has any comments for me on this. I don't know though. <laughs> Let's see. I've got a uh, I got a Nexus 7 tablet here. Oh, you can see the difference between Nexus 7 and the and the 6P. Yeah, it's like a five and a half inch screen versus a seven inch. Pretty large, pretty significant difference, really. Um, I suppose I could just look here. That would make some sense, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't want to take up too much time with getting commentary from the peanut gallery. I think I'm just going to have to do this. I'm going to have to pull it open. Uh, do I have something even better for this? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think this is all, all I've got. So I'm going to have to warm it up again. Oh, wait, i got to turn it off. No SIM card yet. Power off, please. Yeah, power off. I mean, I could tear this off, but... Hmm. Now, if I do that, if I take the tape off, then I've got the shattered glass that I have to worry about. I may have to worry about that anyway when I clean it. Um, but I have some alcohol around here and some Q-tips, so I'll have to clean it thoroughly before I put the other on. Okay. There we go. <coughs> warmer back up. Oh, maybe I should start down here where it's cracked. Hmm. That's my temp here. Two hundred and twenty. Two twenty two. 40 I don't know what temperature does the battery really get bad <laughs> it's all about getting that adhesive loose and it's very difficult because it well it's good adhesive it's clear too Okay, what am I at? I'm at... I'm at hot is what I'm at. Okay. can definitely smell the heat gun at that point. All right. Okay. Yeah, super... Ooh, super hot. Okay. Let's see. Oh, how to even touch it. 
and not burn myself. Note to self: don't uh, don't touch the uh, the edge over there. Try to stop pressing the buttons. Okay, I'm just trying to uh, work it under there, and it's not playing. Nice. Let's see here. Actually, I'll use one of them. Oh, I turned it on again. How did I turn it on again? That's not what I need. It is far too hot to do that. Got a couple here. And the whole surface is glass. So it's like, how do I hold on to the other side? Oh, well, I guess I could do this. There we go. Okay. Now the other side. That's pretty warm too. How hot is it? It's 118. So it's it's significantly different than the front. That's good. So there is a thermal a thermal break there. Ooh, too slippery. Okay, so that's not and it definitely won't hold on that. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Did it turn off yet? I guess it turned off because of thermal. Yeah, it did. Okay, so it thought it was too hot, which is good. I didn't want it to be on anyway. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This is not easy, folks, and you know what? I will not do this for you. <laughs> this is something that you must learn for yourself. Just trying to pull it. Trying to pull it. I will say that iFixit, um, they did a great job in sourcing, you know, things like suction cups. Because uh, that's that's really, it's way better. These came with the with the kits that I got. These guys, they're they're pretty pathetic. I might be able to hang like a dream catcher or something with them, but not. I can't do the work like this with them. No way. It's not going to fly. Let's get this closer to the edge. Here we go. Okay. So now. Okay, phone. I really, really didn't want you on. So go off again. It's probably like, what are you doing to me? It's like, don't ask questions you don't want answers to. Don't ask those questions, buddy. Oh, hey! Ha ha! Okay. I've, I've done something. Uh-oh. And then it popped again. All right, so this is working. This is working. Come on. Okay, got that under there. Leave that there. Then work it again. Okay, definitely see the cracking. Definitely see the cracking right there. I need to bring more light for you guys. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, but you know what? This is, it's getting somewhere, okay. Now, yes, look at that. I'm in between, right there. Oh, ho, 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 This is me being excited. Okay. Let's get that around there. Okay, yes. That one was underneath too far. Okay. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Nice and easy. Oh. You see, the problem is that you start to get impatient and you want it to go faster. But if you go too fast, you're going to so screw up your life. Um, so what I think right now is since I've got 
got some progress here. Let's check my temperature. And I'm at, yeah, so it's, thermally it's gone down a lot. Okay, so I need to, I need to raise that temperature again. <clears throat> and you know what, I need, I'm going to move this stuff because you guys deserve to see a little more of what's actually going on. And I can't bring that camera over any further, so I'll bring the project more to you. Okay, that looks better. Now, <clears throat> let's heat her up. Now that I now that I've got the um, got these under here. Ooh, see it's melting a little bit right on the edge. So that's hot, and right there it's peeling up the tape some. So it's certainly proving that it's hot, and I can see some of the cracks getting larger. So this is definitely changing the underside of this a little bit, at least from my vantage point here. Okay, so that's good. All right. Now let's take. Ooh, ooh. What is that? What is that? Oh dear, is that the LCD? Did I click the LCD? Oh, I might have. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I might have. Oh, I might have broken the whole phone. Okay, well, here we go. Sometimes mistakes happen, and then we have to pay for the for the results. Not what I wanted to see, but uh, you know, if it I broke the phone in the first place, I didn't have a replacement plan on it. What else am I gonna do? What choice did I have, folks? What choice? Well, I could. I suppose I could have lived just with the tape the rest of the time. But I didn't like that idea. I don't know if anybody else likes that idea either. So. Oh, geez, that is the crystal under there. How bad is it? How bad is it? Well, I might be ordering a digitizer too. Ooh, there we go, there we go. There we go, come on. Peel it up, peel it up. Peel it up. Oh. Oh boy. Definitely see it now. Come on. This is all the shattered part, so it's gonna get nasty through here. I'm, I hear it cracking and breaking and just wanting to fall, ap fall apart on me. So I'm gonna end up having to clean up little glass shards all over the place. Okay. So, I'm pretty good over there. Now I need to I guess work my way around. <sighs> Gotta be nice to my fingers. That one does not want to move. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. No, that, oh, wow, that's really stuck right there. Okay. Okay. Stay there. Huh. Oh, what am I doing? Hmm. Whoa. I lost it. Yep. <laughs> Let's keep that in dirt right there in the corner. Okay. Now, I was doing pretty good over here, so let's see. Pop this guy right here. Okay. I'll just put my palm back here and pull as hard as I can. Boy, that's look at that deflect. How that's deflected. I mean, it's in there, but doesn't want to be. And I lost that again. Get out of there. Actually, I'll put a bigger 
one in there. That way it doesn't fall through. Okay. That bothers me. That really, really concerns me under there. Uh, it's probably going to bother me. Going to continue to bother me. Until, you know, I power it back on. I may power it on accidentally here. Who knows? Um... Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Might have been better off leaving the tape. Okay. How hot is it? Let's cool off to roughly operating temperature. So... Okay, I know that I want to see it. You probably want to see it too. Let's turn it on. And see what happens. And see how bad it is. Well, it's not turning on at all. My own thermal overload here. No. I mean, I can. It's it's definitely hot. May have baked my phone. Hmm. I was turning it on accidentally before. Now I can't turn it on at all. Okie dokie. Well, I've come this far. As disturbing as all that is. Time to just keep going. Okay, that's good. That's working. Now, you can't... With these, you, you they look like little pry bars. But if you pry, then it'll just snap. Because it's just plastic. I mean, what it does is it gives you... a an area that you can fit it into, but it really doesn't get you there. Not like you think. That's why we're still using these guys. Ah, okay, okay. So I gotta get over the top there. That's it. Yeah, because that is part of one of the front facing speakers. Boy, they got the adhesive all over this. <clears throat> Okay, I am so disappointed in myself, essentially, at this point. That's supposed to be like that? I don't know. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Urgh. Okay, so I'm through the, I'm through the top here. Ooh. Oh, shoot. So that's what happened. Okay. So in... I cracked the digitizer right here. The LCD is broken. So now I'm down the whole screen. So I'm going to have to replace the whole kit and caboodle. And oh yeah, it's cracked right there too. Now I can see it. Now I can see it. So yeah, this, this phone is uh, down until I get a new everything. That is super, super unfortunate. And you saw me do it, folks. You saw me do it. Oh, uh, well. It's only money, right? There we go. Okay. Now I just have to clear it out. I gotta, I gotta open it now. Well, I guess that leaves me with um, a more clear direction because I don't have, I don't have to be as careful now because the phone simply isn't going to be happy with me for the rest of the time. Uh, not that I was looking for happiness. I suppose I was looking for happiness. Actually, I'm a come on, just talking to myself, aren't I? I am. Uh, to console myself somehow. How bad? Ooh, okay. 
you can see as I'm having to work through here. The, the tape really is important because otherwise these little shards would be up in my face. I am wearing my glasses, so I've got at least a little bit of protection from glass coming out. You can see down in there. Here's some of the adhesive. Let's cut that off. Oh, the phone is on. <laughs> the phone is on. And yeah, the so the LCD is completely dead. Oh wait, what's... Oh, is that what happened? This actually looks like it might be the polarizing sheet. Because with liquid crystal displays, they, they do that. So I need to shut this down. And I don't know that it will. Hopefully it'll vibrate on me. Boy, I just don't know if it's doing it. Okay, so you know what's fun? Since I I did let the battery discharge a bit, I can leave it on overnight. Um, just turn it back on. Um, and then what I can do is uh, just let the battery die. Let the battery discharge all the way until it, uh, until it shuts down. These flagship phones... They use a lot of juice anyway. Now I'm just gently picking up here in between and prying up. And that's doing pretty well. Again, the packing tape, so important right here. Keeping everything together. Okay, come on, get through there. See, that's the adhesive, part of the adhesive stuff that's right there. Now, just like I was doing at the top, I can use, here's some of the glass. Okay. Now, let's just see if I can peel it back the rest of the way. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is super disappointing. And yeah, I think that was the polarizing filter because that's clear. Hmm. What I'll do out of my morbid curiosity and it looks like I've it looks like there was a seal all the way around the phone which I did not anticipate which is now gone now I'm gonna look at yep that's the polarizing filter oh son of a okay here we go okay so look at the screen and it changes color. Not very much. But see how it changes? Yeah, that's the polarizing filter. So that killed that display right proper. Um, so, sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to. And, oh, I ripped... How did that come up? Oh, wow. Yeah, I did a bad. Definitely did a bad. Did not take that out. Look at that. So I guess it laminated itself really well to that. And that was never coming off. That was a fool's errand. And wait, whoa, wait a second here. They sent me the wrong glass. This is the wrong glass. Six XT. Oh. Well, this was just, um, 
Gee, that's a big phone. That's a big phone, 6XT. Where the hell was that? Next is 6XT. Okay. This was unpleasant. This was not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's cracked all the way through there. Let's see if I can show it to you any better. It's super shiny. Okay, right about there. You can see that there's a little fissure running all the way through it. Mirror polished. And of course it's it's dead. I mean it's it's so dead. So there we are. Or there we were. Hmm. Boy, now what? Now what? I'm gonna have to do something else. Because now I have to replace the whole digitizer assembly. Because this thing's dead. So, let's just open this up a little bit. There we go. Ooh, oh, that's so fragile. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how fragile that was. Oh, okay. And that is part of it, but it's dead, so I'll rip that off where you shouldn't. There we go. Okay, things you shouldn't do. Here you go. So here's this piece, this whole piece right here. That's supposed to go neatly under here. I've just ripped it all to shreds. Hopefully the phone ever turns back on again. Um, so the battery's under there. It was not a very far way for it to go. 86 degrees, went better temperature itself. Yeah, 85, okay, so that's not terrible. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So this didn't work out the way I wanted to. I still have to get that off though, because now I got to get to the battery and everything. Oh, very disappointed. So disappointed. And I've still got glass in here, along with this bit here. You know, I'm... <laughs> Am I just going to have to buy a new phone? I may just have to buy a new phone. If I can't find all the replacement parts, I may not be able to do it myself. I may not want to, actually, at this point. Because now I'm, now I'm upset. Hmm. Sometimes these things don't work out the way we want them to. Which, uh, which of course, is why, you know, we try. Uh, not everything... Just like SpaceX, you know, just because you blew up a rocket, it doesn't have to be a loss. Perhaps we can learn something. Like right here, I just learned that uh, this little piece was not part of the insulation, but was part of the, uh, the speaker grill assembly. And I just kind of accidentally yanked it out from underneath. It's like, how much more damage can you do to the phone, Andy? Maybe you should stop while you're ahead. I guess I should. I guess I should. Um, while I figure out what the heck else am I going to do. Um, I need to get rid of that glass, too. And speaking of glass, I need to get rid of this glass. If I'm going to tear it apart. At this point, I can give it to somebody else and do it, though. Now, the... That piece of glass for the other thing. I guess that would work. 
Hmm. Man. You know, that just really, that's horrible. Oh. What an amazing waste. <sighs> okay. Well, I think this is going to conclude my broadcast day uh, as I determine what I'm going to do for a phone tomorrow. I do have an extra phone that I activated when this went, went out so that I could um, make sure that should this happen, I was not without communication. Um, okay. What a bummer. Well, folks, I will, uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, go ahead and follow the show, OreallyRadio.com, uh, on show 129 for this Friday. I will, uh, I'll at least divulge what's happening. Or, of course, you can follow me on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably uh, cry there a little bit. See, I love some of the digitizer right there. Oh, oh boy. It's very light. It's very light and thin now. It's all battery. That thickness. It's all battery. Which is good. I actually debated changing out the battery too. It's it's this much of the phone. Mm. Yeah, you know, just change it out while I'm in here. Too much Pokemon Go or whatever. Oh such a bummer. Okay, well, good night, folks. <laughs>